Hello. So this time we're going to consider a graphical representation of vectors on the plane. And we want to find a non-trivial linear combination uh, satisfying this, uh, this equation. And in order to get into that, uh, we're going to get a few remarks first. So first, uh, note that we are looking uh, for all uh, non-zero solutions, of course, if any, uh, to the matrix equation. given by this. 1, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, times uh, x1, x2, x3, equal to 0, 0. This is, we want uh, to know if the matrix given by 1, 2, negative 3 on the first row, 1, negative 1, negative 3 on the second row has a non-trivial null space. Right? Well, that's one way to characterize it. Here's another one. Right? about the problem that we're looking for. Uh, this equation that we are underlined here has an equivalent uh, description. So the equation is described right here. Um, it's equivalent uh, to the system of equations given by this. 1 times x1 plus 2 times <coughs> x2 uh, minus 3 times x3 equal to 0. 1 times x1 minus 1 times x2 minus 3 times x3 equal to 0. And, well, uh, once we have this, we can say, well, look, the solution um, to any of this equivalent formulations um, can be obtained uh, by row reduction. Meaning, once we have a system like this, <clears throat> we can perform, we can find an equivalent uh, matrix representation, obtain uh, the row reduced echelon form of that matrix, and then from there, read out the solution to the system, if any. Right? In this case, it's homogeneous, so there should be at least one solution. But the question is if there's others other than the trivial one, other than the zero solution. So let me start. Um, let's, let's reduce. And I'll start with the matrix. 1, 1, first column. 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3. Augmented by 0, 0, representing the system that I'm underlined here. Then we're going to start with some operations. So row 2 minus row 1. Uh, that would be 1, 0. 2, negative 3. Negative 3, 0. Right, by performing that operation. Then 0, 0. Now <clears throat> I multiply by negative 1 third the second row and obtain 1, 0, 2, 1, negative 3, 0, augmented with 0, 0. Then from here, one more operation, uh, which is to row 1, we subtract twice row 2. And from that one, we get 1, 0, negative 3. 0, 1, 0, with 0, 0 on the last column. Okay, now what is that this is telling us? 
right? This indicates uh, that the system that we started with is equivalent to x1 minus 3x3 equal to 0, and x2 equal to 0. Okay. But from here, we can transform it into something that looks like this. We have x1 is equal to 3 times x3, and x2 is equal to 0 times x3. So now, what we are exhibiting here is that these unknowns, x1 and x2, can be made dependent on x3 only. So, we have that a vector x1, x2, x3 is in the null space of the matrix that we were discussing originally, meaning this one, right? If and only if we have x1, x2, x3 equal to 3 times x3, 0 times x3, x3, which of course can be described as uh, 3, 0, 1 times x3. Right? For every real number, x3. Well, what else can we say from here? So, uh, the span of the set containing this vector, 3, 0, 1, is nothing else <coughs> but the null space of the matrix A that we were discussing. Uh, why is that you say that? Well, look, we're indicating that a vector, whichever it is, in order to be contained in the null space of A, it has to have this particular form, right? But that is the form of a linear combination of elements from this set, which is exactly the description of the span. That means that we have encountered this one to be a spanning set for the null space of A. Okay. So, coming back to the original problem, right? Finding this non-trivial solution. So, <clears throat> if uh, we set x3 to a non-zero real number, for example, x3 to be 1, we obtain x1 1, 1, plus x2, times 2, negative 1, plus x3, times negative 3, negative 3, is equal to 3 times 1, times the vector 1, 1, plus 0 times 1, times the vector 2, 1, negative, uh, plus 1, times negative 3, negative 3. Then from here, we perform some algebraic reductions. We get 3 times 1, 1, plus 0 times 2, negative 1, plus 1 times negative 3, negative 3, which indeed is equal to 0. So now what we have exhibit is a non-trivial solution to the homogeneous equation that we were discussing. So with this, we finish, and I hope that you like. Take care.